Welcome to Steps Gaming. We're here tonight. It's Friday, and everybody's saying they wanted more home arcade deal or no deal. So I'm here live with a, another time. Another time he's here. Oh, Special yeah. guest. Thank you. Thank pa you for inviting me on. Pa about Papa here. Brad from Papa Brad's Gaming. Papa Brad's Live um, was Arcade Talk on T. McCloskey's channel. Friday night and arcade. Friday night arcade. arcade. <laughs> <laughs> lots, lots of stuff. And I'm busy. if you if you don't know me, I'm Steps from Steps Gaming at Theme Park Plunge. <laughs> and today yeah, you've been killing it lately too, man. I've been loving your content. we have been watching everything you've been dropping. It's good, con great content. Steps, keep it up, man. I'm loving it. Today's great because today I'm Set not I'm not doing any content mm -hmm. except live content. This right. is this is this is great. I don't have to sit there and a edit a video thing. or any of that. I know. So so I had to find have I taken the plunge? Oh, you caught me saying that in the vlogs. Or <laughs> I tell people now when I do it. I was like, it's time to take the plunge and subscribe. Take the plunge. Steps. Take the, plunge. Uh, the th what is that? That's Thundercats? Tiger. Yeah. From Marvel. Marvel. Tiger okay. Cup. Okay. The plunge of death. You know, I went on a coaster yesterday for media day. It was kind of sketch. I'm not going to lie, but it was so intense. Like you came through this, like, it's like an old one that they're opening up at another park. Wow. And I went down this like, like J shaped drop into this double loop. And I was like graying out. If you don't know what graying out is like, you get all oh, disoriented. Kind of I thought I was going to black out on not this blacking thing. Out, just kind of getting like <laughs> oozy laugh. <laughs> Melanin Coaster Network, the person that sent yeah. me to this coaster. He's here. He's here. <laughs> Man, awesome. I saw your video with, the, with them. That was a fantastic video. Yeah. Very well done, Steps. So anyway, today, as far as what we're doing for the arcades, we're going to do arcade, deal or no deal, from a, a different city each time. And last time we did Chicago. So today, we're going to go somewhere else. Let's watch the trailer. Tonight brings us to fabulous Louisville, Kentucky, where we recently had the 150th running of the Kentucky Derby. What a beautiful city. What a great place to be. But isn't it a great place to be if you're looking for new products in home arcade or a real arcade? Tonight, we find out on Home Arcade Deal or No Deal with Kristen Steps and Papa Brad. There you go, Papa Brad. We're yeah, in Louisville, Kentucky. 
Did you get trans there you transported go. there? Man, we're going we're going to the south. We're going to the south. Papa Brad's home <laughs> turf. <laughs> you ready for some some uh horse yeah, racing? Let's check out some of these incredible deals that we're gonna get. The plunger, aka steps. We love you. Yeah, he calls me the plunger. And I was like, that's what I need to do on my channel, is I could be like the number one plumber in all of roller coasting. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> the plunger. <laughs> Kentucky Derby. Yeah, the Kentucky Derby. There's more than roller coasters in Kentucky. <laughs> Melon and Coaster Network. Anyway, we're going to talk about the arcade. So we're going to bring those up. We're going to get busy with that. I need to share the screen. I have actually not previewed these, funny enough. Um, let's see. Boom. Nicole, I I'd like to say hello to a few people. Hello, Jason. Oh, hello, sure. Zod Rider. Glad you're here. Biggie D's Arcade. Welcome to the stream. Melon and Coaster Network. Glad you're here. Let's get this started, Steps. Yes, they're all commenting, talking in the chat. Very cool, very helpful. I love it. The plunge of death. <laughs> yeah, there's your have you taken the plunge. Anyway, so first up, what the heck? Birdie King 2. These are three like arcade marquee. video signs, $2. In Louisville, Kentucky. $25, huh? Or, oh, Never 25 Okay, wow, it says two up. up there in the corner. These are some weird ones, man. That that's a bezel, isn't it? Yeah. That's a bezel for amusement only. Yeah, yeah. Hard pass. Hard pass. Yeah, I I mean, oh, I'm not gonna say that they're not worth it. There's there. not that much there, but uh bad one to start. Okay, two hundred and twenty five dollars. Mortal Kombat um, cocktail table. Use it the... is it is they're they're putting it in scale. They're putting the kit in so you know how small it is. <laughs> it'll look bigger with this little they're like let's put the little kid in it it'll look bigger yeah so they're trying to make it look bigger they're putting the little kid in there you know yeah this they're one is a full-size adult on that thing this is within whatever an hour of louisville so uh -huh. this is actually in indiana but it's within an hour of louisville 225 dollars and 225 dollars used a couple oh times God. pretty much brand new pretty much brand new brand new pretty much brand new so a lot you of people like buy about these, those? They have the worst of the worst about those is it cuts the screen in half. Like when you play two yeah. player, then you gotta you think the screen is small normally. Imagine when you cut it in half and you make it half the size. It's like you're playing on a postage stamp. Melatonin coaster network. Uh what's I think the up, fighting everyone? games are the worst ones to put in that kind of cabinet. Hello, wonderful gamers. Mm. Thought hey, Thumper Squid. No deal. This has Sinistar, right? No, Mortal Kombat 2 doesn't have it. It was Zod Rider that said uh, no deal. He says no deal for $225 on a Mortal Kombat 2 cocktail table. He is right. Split screen cuts it off. Yes. <laughs> um, uh, the price is right. It's pretty affordable. At it's, not, it's not a bad it's price. The, it's on the edge of... of you of, have to be in the market... Deal, but... you, you have to be in the market for it, you though. You have to be like, to accept the sacrifices you're going to have with a fighting game on a... Cocktail you know, table. On a cocktail table. It's, it's really a bad format for a fighting game, in my opinion. I bet if I offered them $180, they'd probably take it. Yeah. I bet you they would. I bet you they would. I'm not going to ding them too bad. I, I don't want it, but I'm not going to ding them too bad on it. It's, it's fair, but not for me. <laughs> not for you. I agree. I agree. Um, all right. What's, this thing's interesting. Ferrari by Sega. $12,345. Text for prices. Will not answer for a code. This is in Missouri. Wow. Oh, okay. So these are real these are arcade real products. And, and uh, redemption machines. And there's no real price on them. The Tokyo Drift looks badass. Yeah, it looks good. I and mean, these are some monster machines. That's a gigantic change machine. Let me, yeah. You got to be wanting to open up an arcade with these. Yeah, this is all heavy commercial stuff. I, I don't even know what the Ferrari machine is. Have you ever seen one in person? I played one, I think, at uh, Southern Fried Gaming had one. Is it a game or is it? It's a game. It's a game. I think mm -hmm. they had it on the Dreamcast. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. To me, to me, like, the, the racing game that really has nostalgia for me is Daytona. If I was to look at any of them. Yeah, I it's hard to say because he put a fake price arcade. up. Yeah. So here's an NFL Blitz arcade one up, three ninety nine. Oof. Um. Yeah. I don't know. 
I mean, you could have got these at Ollie's. What was it, two ninety nine yeah, at Ollie's? Ollie's? Yeah, Ollie's two ninety nine yeah. is what these were going for. Um, this is used. I think it's priced too high. I think I remember I, there was a time they were probably giving them away. They had so many of them. They had mountains of these things. You know, they were giving away for like one hundred twenty five bucks. Well, and, I, I got one for two. I got one for two dollars. Remember that? Two dollars. <laughs> I got one for two dollars on marketplace. Hey, hey, I'm not nobody's, even nobody's gonna beat steps. You know. You think you got a good deal for the you know the one twenty five? How about two dollars? Hey, well, we I got did in the chat. Goofy foot, welcome to the stream. Goofy man. I've been, foot. I've been, I've been wanting to see Goofy foot. Glad you're here. Now, granted good to that see you. that two dollar blitz I put in like one hundred fifty bucks or something. Uh -huh. Zod Rider, these are never worth more than two dollars. <laughs> uh i think they should mark this at 300 dollars. somebody's probably willing to buy it for 250 or 300 well, i think it's to too play high. the game what do you think of the game is it fun do you actually like it? i had a lot of fun with the cabinet the problem the, the problem is not that the it's, original blitz but it, it, at least it's not a terrible game right? and and the, and the cabinet is not designed that bad the uh, problem with it is for me is that it's just too damn big it's got that four player control deck it takes up a ton of room that i don't want to spend it, you know taking up space there's other things i want to do with my space and so the blitz cabinet i just it, it requires more investment because you're going to want to make that a two-player deck instead. oh yeah i hate those four player those four player uh, uh, yeah the four, four player caps suck it just like take up a lot of space yeah thumper squid loves it yeah I, it's not a bad it's not a bad machine i absolutely uh -huh. would have kept it i just i just like i need this out i don't have room and I made a video with it, and then I, I sold it, and I made a little bit of money. I think I made like 30 bucks on it or something by the time mm. it was all said and done. So, you know. I uh, make a fun video about it, too, which was pretty cool. Yeah, 399 is just too, mm. is a little bit high. We got a Galaga um, countercade. Mm. It looks like it's completely functional. Uh -huh. They listed it for $130. They didn't get it. They marked it down to 110 they said good working condition, no scratches or dings. Also have an NBA Jam for sale. Not bad. Over a hundred thousand high score on it too. Whoever had it could play a little Galaga. They played a little bit. Mm -hmm. Respect for whoever owned it. But, Galaga uh, eighty eight would love this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Once again, not for me, but if you like Galaga, I don't know how much you think this is worth. I would 75 pay bucks? seventy five bucks. Yeah, so yeah I, I think it's a little high bucks. still. A little I, high. I think if they list it for seventy five, somebody's gonna try to get it for fifty five. Though I mean, mm -hmm. I would list it for about a hundred, hundred ten bucks and take seventy five. So yeah. I, it's I'm not I'm gonna say no deal at the one ten, but it's it's marked to sell because somebody will offer less. Zod Rider says fifty dollars. Yeah. You just said they weren't worth more than two dollars. Now they're worth fifty dollars. <laughs> well, this, is, this is Galaga. You get two ship steps. You two get ships. two ships. Two ships. You get Galaga that's 88 what, too. It's that, two that's games. What, that's what uh, Galaga guy says. Galaga guy says. Galaga guy says it. You get two ships. Uh. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, it's no, a crane. It's a crane. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. This is a real crane it machine. It's a real crane machine for four hundred bucks. It looks if like it's in like one, a pizza. It's, a it's, it's like in a pizza hut or like oh not not a pizza a pizza place or a laundromat. It's a laundromat. It's you can tell it's a laundromat because the laundry oh baskets goodness. are right next to it. Oh, See? Yeah, that's laundry mat approved. Yeah, I have two games I'm selling. Both need work. <sighs> claw machine. It works. The claw needs fixed. Goes oh up, goodness. but it won't move. Wants four hundred dollars. Oh. It's in Bloomington, Indiana, home of the IU Hoosiers. And there's what the hell is that? Sammy. I've never heard of that. It's Sammy. You've seen these before? No. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, I, I, I mean, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna go That's with hard a no. Pass on that. That's no, a deal. Hard no, 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 no deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. deal. Two hundred dollars for a Donkey Kong rug, and look, it's a the, used look, rug. It's apparently dog, the, very. The dog used. only peed and pooped on it a few times. There's only a few times the dog did its business on it. It says used, like new. Yeah, uh, a used rug is not worth much. It it looks like it's used. It's got all sorts yeah. of walking tread. He's got a suitcase on great. top of it. There's all sorts of bowls on it. I don't. <laughs> this, this looks like a hoarder. A hoarder owns this. Blitz isn't worth more than two dollars. Everything else, it depends. <laughs> um, the Donkey Kong rug's not worth two hundred fifty dollars or two hundred dollars. Um, it is a nice long, big rug, though. 
I mean, I don't think I'd pay more than 50 bucks for it, but I, I, just... I wouldn't pay a penny for it because you would pay a penny for I it. I have allergies. I swear, rugs are the worst thing for that because they just <laughs> they trap everything in. You know what I mean? I have allergies. It's like the, the place where I live has concrete floors. Look at look at Melvin Coaster Network's uh, comment. The claw don't work. I got 40 bucks in the back of a Starburst. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it under a black light first before you buy oh, the yeah. rug. Okay, I get it. No deal. No deal. Yeah, r- rugs are hard. Donkey Kong that's, rug, no. That's something best bought new anyway. I think that kind of product is best bought new. Oh my God, it's Corner Kate. He's selling Look all of his this. machines. This person was into one up. They got all. They got, they're they selling got them all. Everything row. must go. It looks like Everything all the ones. Everything's got to go. Arcade <laughs> games. What do you want? We got them all. It literally looks like all the ones that Corner Kate bought. <laughs> Dude, they got multiple of the uh, arcade one-up pinballs. They got the Marvel and the Star Wars. They got a Pac-Mania, a Ridge Racer, an NBA Jam Shack Edition, a Simpsons, a Wheel of Fortune. I know. Yeah. A I've casino a game. I've owned a few of these. I can say it's, that at least. Let's see. What does it say? Oh, it has pickup at certain times. Is this like a... Is this per? No, this person only has like ten sales. There, yeah, I don't know. What three fifty for all of them? <laughs> I think that's for for whatever one you want, baby. No, click on the sidebar. Does it have instructions? The sidebar. Does more, like, does it have any more description? No, it's that's all right here. Details. It's got her address. Scroll down. It's probably that's probably some guy's wife. Yeah, maybe it was a divorce. Oh, it's Paige. Like, Paige is like this. This has got to go. They, they all must go. <laughs> This man cave, get it out of here, <laughs> Michael B's collection. See, now that's that's a prime situation. You go it's in the there, you know, and you're like, you're like, look, look, I'll take five of them for five hundred bucks. Ridge Racer, you want this is stuff nice. gone, don't you? Ridge Racer is probably one of the better husband. ones in that collection. The Blitz is nice. The Ridge Racer, I'm sure, I is own nice. the Ridge Racer. I had a Ridge Racer. Um, I think the NBA Jam might be okay. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I care about the other ones. I don't know. If I had my pick and it's like, take one of these, I'd probably take the Ridge Racer or the NBA Jam. You know which one I would pick? Pac-Man. Pac-Man? The Pac-Mania? Yeah. Pac- the, Pac-Man. the one with the crappy monitor? No, that's the Pac-Man. That's, there's, oh, there's a real Pac-Man to If you the look left. all the way oh, to the yeah, left, yeah, yeah, in the yeah, very, yeah. very corner, that's the familiar yellow Pac-Man. Why do they have a yellow Pac-Man and a Pac-Mania? They do. They have two, don't they? That is odd. <laughs> They must really they love Namco. The same, they, they have the, the same, same games. games. It's the same games list. Yeah. They must have known. They must have known. Uh, hmm. weird. Um, I, I can't say deal or no deal because there's too much going on there, but it was interesting. Uh, Carolina Arcade Museum. That's an ad. What the heck is this? This looks like a casino. Casino machines. Casino yeah, machines, machines for $900. We sell used casino arcade entertainment mm-hmm. games for home use. Oh, they're selling these casinos old equipment for home use and they want $900 for it for dated casino commercial grade equipment. Um, I don't see why I would want that. Lot cheaper I, than gambling in a casino. I, but you know you can't what though? I, could, I guess I, like I, the lore is you don't win anything if you win. I could go I could book, go buy that Wheel of Fortune casino cake from that other lady for three hundred fifty dollars though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is nine hundred dollars. I'm that sure is this is true. That this is, is true. what like you have to be like a casino enthusiast to want one of yeah. these. I think that there's some people that would probably buy it that are casino enthusiasts. Yeah. I think that industry changes really fast, though. I think there's always something new they put in the casino to try to get people to gamble. You know, a new yeah. property, a new IP, whether it's the Monsters or Deal or No Deal or Wheel of Fortune or What's always the chat? trying new uh, IPs to get you to gamble. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a survey in on this one. I want a survey. Um, I'm gonna... No, I don't want to buy a super chat for my own channel. I want to start a pool. There we go. <laughs> uh, Would you pay nine hundred dollars for a used real casino game? Question mark. Yes or no? There we go. There's the pull. <laughs> yes or no? <laughs> See, I would rather have one of those. You remember those things they used to have at bars that have like a bunch yeah. of games? I'd rather have one of those than that. Now we have a dog. The dog's for $5,000. Oh, man, Freddy. 
Freddy. Well, like, they have a f- the Freddy Nightmare on Elm Street pinball, but the dog the is The dog's there. in focus. They got yeah. the dog in perfect focus. You can't see a thing on the play field. That's this... a great pinball. I do love the Freddy pinball. It's fun. But why... why... Why is it there a picture of a dog and a blurry picture of it without the dog? Super blurry. I don't know. Selling my Freddy Krueger a Nightmare on Elm Street pinball. Everything is in working order. I hate to sell this, but I'm moving and it's not going to work in my new place. I feel bad for this dude. Five you know? grand's a bit high. Is it for that table? What's that table a worth? High. About 3,000. 3,000? 3, I'd say, yeah. Five's yeah. pretty high. It's a Gottlieb table, yeah. Hmm... You get them a lot cheaper. See, the Rexer Show says, too. Rexer Show? Yeah. You can get them cheaper. People buy to practice at the casino. Okay? Yeah. You can get them cheaper. Suffer Childella, what's up, the Rexer hey, Show? Hey. Good to see you. I don't have pinball money. Hey, hey, Steps, I made the list. I made the At Game Show list on the Rexer Show. I'm so proud. Thank really? You, what an honor. Yeah. My beautiful orange logo was in the show list. That's I'm awesome. so proud. Thank you. Thank you, Rexer. So five thousand is a no deal. Got it. Eleven hundred dollars. House of the Dead showcase style cabinet. Gameplay's great. Credit message is burned in the screen. Oof. It is pretty cool. That is a nice cabinet. They're gonna have to. I could. I don't think you can fix screen burning though, can you? You have no, to get a whole new replace screen. replace monitor. And unfortunately, with gun games, you have to use a real monitor because that's the way they work. They work with the real monitor. That's how the guns work. Yeah, that thing's pretty big. I've seen one of those. They're pretty huge. Yeah, that's man, gonna, Rex that's sure. That ramp is not having it. There's some, that ramp is suspect. Uh, steps, buy me a pinball for my birthday. My favorite. Yeah, you mm-hmm. could you could buy me a pinball. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And we just gave away uh, we just gave away a pinball on a uh, Rachel Dello gave one away a on our game talk yeah a game he or the Godzilla a... table not the Godzilla, Godzilla stir table. not at the table like the the download Godzilla. we gave away Godzilla not, on not on, uh, not not talk. a stir not a stern Godzilla right oh I'm sorry that was the Zen Godzilla but it's still yeah okay fun. there you go it's still pretty fun uh, eleven hundred dollars I don't know if this is a good price or not. I, I, I don't like I don't the screens either. burn in. I don't know either. I, I, um, I know it way back. So I was talking about the gun games, like, because you need to use real monitors. They're, they are a little more work because yeah. you got to use the real monitor, you know? But, a real monitor is going to cost you like 300 bucks, probably, I think. Yeah. 300 bucks for a monitor. Um, hmm. So it's to be, you got to have $1,500 in this cabinet to have it proper. I bet you that's probably a deal. That's probably good. Probably not a bad deal. You just have to you'd have to play it and see what you thought. How much of a deal breaker is the burn in where it's at? You know. All right, Big Buck Hunter Pro Arcade One Up, three hundred and eighty dollars. That's gonna be a no. That's a hard no. Well, I'm not paying three hundred and eighty dollars. That's not a bad price mm-hmm. for 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 the for the Buck Hunter or for the. Or for the uh, House uh, of the Dead, which House one? of the Godly. Dead. I think he's thinking about the house. He must be thinking about the House of the it's Dead. The Buck Hunter. I don't think Godly would play the Buck Hunter. He probably is mm. more into the House of the Dead. No, for, yeah, House yeah, of the Dead. That's what I That's what you're thinking. <laughs> I just don't see where it could be. T- I mean, uh, the 17 inch screen is kind of small, you know. Witter pays twelve thousand dollars shipping. Man, I was playing I, some sending games on my IRK because now they got it where they got all a lot of sending games running, like a lot of classic arcade gun games. And even mm-hmm. a 19 inch to me is small. It feels small. Did, you want a bigger screen, you know? For yeah. A gun game. You know what though? The IRK screen is a lot better than that. Those arcade one up 17 inches. I can't deal yeah. with them. They're too tiny. Um, and this is a 17 inch Buck Hunter screen. Ugh. Ugh. What's this here? One hundred twenty-three thousand four hundred fifty-six. Oh. That's gonna Ooh. be. <laughs> That's a little high. Uh, that can't be the right price, but these well, look. Uh, you got what a full are these? Size TV. Full these size TV arcade. in that arcade. Yeah. Yeah. I. I see. Me. I'm not. I'm not. Some people like the widescreen mm-hmm. monitors in an arcade. I think it's cool, but I don't. Um, to me, it doesn't have the nostalgia or the feel of being an actual arcade machine. I would buy the Buck Hunter for three hundred dollars without the guns. Really. Do you have extra guns, Darkroom? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the combination of my luggage. <laughs> That's what he put. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh. Yeah, I don't know about that. That that uh, not we're not. It's you gotta ask him how much it really is. Here's fair. This is fair. Two hundred dollars. You get the Blitz and the Simpson game arcades with matching stools. You get the uncomfortable stool that's not made to sit in. So what asking two hundred for and each the non-functional okay. stool. So they're saying if you want the Simpsons with the stool or the Blitz with the stool, it's two hundred bucks uh, and three seventy-five for both. Mm. This person, I, I, I'm going to give you a deal. You're the smartest person on, on Facebook Marketplace. They want to sell both. It's a, it's a package deal. You get a discount for buying in bulk. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think they're, they're pretty fair. I mean, yeah, I, I don't necessarily want For people who are just them, looking but... to fill their basement up with arcade one-ups, that's not a bad price for two of them. Yeah, um, that's uh, an ad. Kind of past this... that. Whoa, hold but... on. This is a real Miss Pac-Man. But it's it looks like... 60 and one. Yeah, they put a 60 and one in it. That's yeah. why it's not worth as much. They got a Pepsi machine in the background. Is that for sale? It's a really oh. beat up Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, man, that's seen some. That's seen some action. That's gonna take a, some like sanding, uh, some uh, painting, and some new artwork. Why you just leave it beat up for the feel of it being like uh, yeah, you know, battle worn? What do they call the new wave uh, toys? You know what? New wave toys doesn't say new wave toys. Now they say new wave. Did you notice that? They changed their branding. Really? From new wave toys to just new wave. Well, they're still toys. I don't mean I have a problem with them. I, know, I like them. I mean, it's interesting. They're, I mean, that video I did on them, I was mm. I was really impressed with how close I'm gonna they say, were to I'm going to say arcade. deal. 700 bucks. Really? Deal? Yeah. yeah. You got 60 classic arcade games. Now, the 60 in one isn't the greatest board. It's an you LCD could monitor. A, you can always put a better board in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, I think yeah, it's I mean, cool because could... it looks authentic, you know. It, it looks it looks like it's battle worn, you know. It looks the part of being in a CD arcade. So I don't think for me that's too much of a down of a down of it. Go to the side picture. Is there any like really serious damage? It's all there. So I mean, for seven hundred bucks, it's not a bad deal. Um, if that, if you want a multi cade too, it's it's got the sixty in one. Yeah. 60 and one's a mixed bag. Some of the games are are pretty good on it, and some of them are kind of crappy as far as the emulation. Decent price for original Miss Pac-Man. Yeah, but it's not the original parts at all. You don't get the original parts. Um, but you could probably find the original parts. Yeah, you could restore that if you wanted to. I would restore the whole machine. That thing's that thing's not just battle beaten up. It's but really you're getting sixty beat. games in it's a real rattled, arcade cabinet. It, it's really for the cost of one arcade one up. You're getting sixty games that are real arcade games, and you're getting a real arcade cabinet. You can get sick looking revapped ones for one k. I don't trust that monitor's in great shape and no PCB too high. See, yeah. that's my thing. I'm like, I you'd have to put some money into it and some time and effort and some elbow grease. <sighs> Dude, they had they had a cherry almost perfect burger time that someone put a sixty in one in. And I think it was a reproduction though. They had one of those at Southern Fried Gaming and it went for I want to say like a thousand bucks. It was beautiful. And it had the better board. It didn't have the uh sixty in one. There's a board that's all uh what do they call it? FPG F where it's exact PGA, yeah. Yeah, it's that it's that kind of emulation where it's running the actual chips. That's what was in the um, FPGA, Berserk. I think. It was in the Berserk arcade at the Tappers that I did, but and they still have the original board in there. It's perfect emulation. So I mean, uh, you know, that was a smoking deal. Like that, that that cab would have, you know, if I lived locally, I would have probably bought it. It was that good. You can't play half those games on a sixty and one without the proper controls. Remember that as trackball games and the others you can't play. Yeah, that's true. Thumper says hard pass on this countercade. It's $140 for a Pac Man hey, countercade. It, it'll play Frogger like a champ, though. That's 60 and 1. With the correct music. Which, you know, RK 1 Up couldn't manage to do. So $140 bucks, Pac Man countercade. Uh, no. Hard pass. pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. It, hard pass. They should list it for maybe 100 and sell it for 75 Um. Here we go. 350 for the Pac Mania. This looks like it's the same one we looked at before. That's the same one. It's the same shed. Now they're list they're listing the ad the the, the product several different ways. Uh -huh. Um no. No, I'm not paying 350 for Pac Mania. You know what I would love to buy? Is a real centipede. Like just a real authentic 
beat up. It could be old as long as it works well, but a real centipede I'd love to have. What? I've never seen. Uh, okay. Arcade artwork. They're random that, arcade artwork. They're selling for $50. <laughs> <laughs> so if you, if you want to mix football, WWF, bowling, all into one wonderful cabinet. They got you. They got you covered here, Steps. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you know, that's very specific artwork. It looks like it's yeah. like ten yard fight mixed with WWF, mixed with what is that up there? I don't even know. Bowling? I I don't know. I, that that's an eBay sell, not a Facebook yeah. marketplace sell. Um, what is this? Two ninety nine. This it's is the same. The same this is the same. This, this person. Guy, this guy's spamming. Now they're selling it for less. It went down. It went down fifty bucks. Two ninety nine. Huh? They're getting more realistic. It went down fifty bucks. <laughs> Here's more of their crap. We already looked at all your crap. Thank you very much. What is this? A bar top? Donkey Kong? This is not real. This is custom, right? Custom. Um, they want four hundred fifty dollars for this. <laughs> it has a nineteen inch display. And um, one year old sells for seven hundred new. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I would I pay know. that. I don't think I, don't think I, would, I would pay that. No. No. What the hell is this? Are they? Are they? Oh look, they're those infinity game tables from Arcade One Up. <laughs> this guy was like, "This is all this. This is all the stuff I don't like that I bought from Arcade One Up." He has the Infinity Game Tables, a couple of them. It looks like, yeah. The uh, uh, the the fighting game once the again. PK the screen's going to be the size of a postage stamp when you play against someone. You got the uh, the Couchcade. Remember the Couchcade? That was a hit. Remember the Couchcade? They got the Couchcade there. They must have got. They must have robbed the Arcade One Up truck, <sighs> or or robbed the distribution center these people here it's the same old, same address for all this this is like a um like must be one of those like discount bin like wholesalers you know yeah dark realm gaming says papa brad what if arcade one up gives us a frogger dlx with the original music would that be mm -hmm. make you excited enough to purchase one i don't know i could uh, frogger emulates so well it, it, it's kind of a hard thing it would have to really look like the original cabinet a lot all Last right, this... time they did it, it was everything was messed up. It was it was a nightmare. It was everything was off. The music was off. The the artwork was off. It was just like the whole thing was. But if they did it right, I mean, I think they would sell a few. Rexer's comment looks like the guy bought a pallet of crap from the liquidator. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this is interesting. This is a dart. They say arcade dart game. You probably see this in a bar. It's uh, five hundred dollars they want for this thing. It looks like it's legit. Looks like it's oh. got a real coin door slot. I don't, it looks like a Sega Saturn logo. That's crazy. On it, but, you throw good darts at there's that's a computer screen, huh? Like a monitor. Yeah. Is it Better functional? Not miss. Works good in good condition for age. Monitor works, but you have but I have it where you could hook up to a TV. Well, that's cool. Trade for a grand board three S. Um five hundred bucks. Uh, I don't yeah, know. probably a deal. Probably if you're a deal. Into darts, does it you use real darts to play it, I take it? Yeah. See yeah, Rexer shows cool. us it's a great deal. That looks yeah. like a good deal. For dark is game. that John D's house? He's clearing out the junk. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Is this the same house? This is this person house. does not go away. This oh person, my God. man, they, they want to get rid of it bad. And you know the sad part? Steps. I don't see it thinning out. Like if they were selling stuff, each picture would have less, wouldn't it? Okay, listen to this. Arcade machine, minor crack on player board, but nothing is wrong. It Ooh. works fine. <laughs> Four hundred thirty dollars. We just saw somebody in your same area selling this, for selling Blitz. this for two hundred dollars. No deal. No, no deal. deal. No deal. This is two hundred dollars, but it doesn't have a riser. No riser. If you like playing on your knees, they got you covered. Um, this cabinet goes for some money sometimes. I Does sold it? mine. For, I sold mine for four hundred dollars. But you um, modded yours, didn't you? I did. Yours was sweet. You had all kind of mods done to it. Yeah. Um. The sad part is when you do do when you do mod your RK one up cabinets, it really doesn't raise the value that much. Like depends on the buyer. Have, depends on the buyer. Yeah, it's hard to find. You, there's all sorts of people. Depends on the buyer. Well, the the, the guy that bought my pack, man, that was the fastest one I sold. One day steps. I told him all the stuff I I did to the Pac-Man, and it was like one day it was gone. So two hundred dollars at the riser, Jason. 
two hundred dollars with the riser. I think these are going for three, four hundred with the riser. I'm not saying I would buy it because I wouldn't. But I mean, I don't think it's priced too bad off. Somebody's gonna offer one fifty for this. I'm so glad I sold most of my arcade one ups before these prices start dropping. This person's selling a Sega Hang On for four hundred dollars. It looks like the marquee's looks like not really working. Blurry. The mar yeah. well, it's his camera probably too. Might right? be, could be. Needs a new monitor. Uh, I could throw an LCD in it for fifty dollars more. Uh, uh, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want uh, the LCD. I don't want that. I mean, four hundred dollars is probably not a bad deal for this. If it, if it, you know, See, that's the kind of game I love playing when I go to an arcade. You know, because I don't have to fix it. You know. I love yeah. playing something like that. That's hang on's great, man. It's probably worth the four hundred dollars, but, but yeah, it's going to be three hundred dollars for the monitor. I don't need or a it. monitor repair. So yeah. it's probably priced okay. Um, four hundred fifty dollars for an arcade one. Nope. Oof, nope. Nope. No. No. Arcade one up. Mar. Or, so or Carl out. Arcade one up pinball. It sucks. All right. Is this the same person? I'm afraid to click on this. Okay, that's, a, that's a different shed. That's a different. No, he's got. See, he's got the stack over oh, here. Oh no! Yeah, he's got the stack. Yeah, the same there's person. more. There's more arcades. Yeah, that, that this per this person got the phone. <laughs> he had the fever for arcade one up, and he's just done. He's like, he's like, that's it. I'm cashing in the chips. It's time to purge. Yeah, he's got it all for sale. It's the purge. It's the purge. Um, no, we're not helping that guy out here. Hey, look, man, he's got some Christmas ornaments he needs to store in that garage. Okay, this looks like to go. Legends Pinball HD. Oh, wait, it's an arcade no. bundle. You're getting Legends Pinball, <sighs> Legends Ultimate, Legends Gamer Pro, two stools, and all the hookups. This guy and... used to work for Ad Games. <laughs> he used to work for Ad Games. Did he really? I don't know. I mean, that's a lot of ad games. I mean, it's as much as uh, I got. He wants ten fifty for it. Ten fifty for all that's of it. That's a lot of that's a lot of ad game stuff. Everything must go. Ten fifty for all of it. Let's let's price this. Let's break this down. What do you think the the Legends Pinball HD is worth? Well, new. They're what about seven fifty or ish. So like. What? Yeah, yeah, but I've seen them. Four hundred bucks. Three hundred bucks. Four hundred bucks is what that we went for. It like. Let's kind of go on rate. Four hundred bucks. 400 bucks, and then we got the Legends Ultimate Arcade, probably worth 300 bucks used, 300, right? 350, yeah. So we're at 700 bucks. The Gamer Pro is worth about 100 bucks. Oh. So we're at 800 bucks, and the two stools, right? It's too, um, too high. Too high. I think he's 100 or 200 dollars off. <laughs> I think he'd do better selling them separately than Maybe as a bundle. He'd do better sell them separate, I think, yeah. Because as a whole, I'm sitting here like... Does he have a picture? Uh, flip through the pictures. Do you have a picture of the uh, ALU? No, see, it doesn't have a, any bit pixel or a riser or... Uh, uh, it does have a bit pixel. It doesn't have a bit pixel. That's just the stock riser. The stock... Wait, uh, no, I'm team. talking... Uh, it is? Yeah, oh, okay. so it comes with stock. Yeah. It looks like it does because it has that, like, outline. That's weird. Oh, there's his Legends Gamer. He has it there like that. It's warped. That's what happened to mine when I was playing Robotron. I was getting look kind of aggressive... And mine did that too. See the way it's buckled? Go back to that picture. Yeah. You, if you look, it's kind of like you can see it. It's kind of buckled. Oh, a yeah, little bit. it is. Yeah, I'll say this. At least this person played it. That means that it was played a lot. That's good. Separate. Yes, I agree, Nix. He needs to separate. 100%. I know Nix just sold his. Uh, he sold uh, some of his act games. I, I think he sold his ALU. How much did you get for it, Nix? Sell any machines separate. Yeah, I agree. You're probably going to get a little more than bundling them, but. We have a Golden T 2021. He would know if that's a good deal. They want $3,500. And uh, there it is. There's a the stand with the trackball. It looks pretty authentic to me. I don't know much about Golden T. You're right. I don't either. But, you know, I, I think playing it on the pedestal is the way to go. I mean, like, the people that really play a lot, I mean, I, I don't think you want your monitor near your hands if you watch good players. Rexer, is this a good deal or a bad deal? Is this is a deal or no deal? Let's let the Rexer show decide. I bet you, bet you he'll, he could know. Carl O., do you live anywhere near Indiana mm. for that arcade you're trying to sell? <laughs> He's dreaming. 
He's dreaming, Carlo says. That was a power putt I saw and GT. <sighs> is it so worth much. is it worth thirty is this worth thirty five hundred dollars? It looks like he's got an alarm control panel on it with the number pad. <sighs> Nine ninety nine, brand new for the golden tee. I can't. Stand I think he's talking. He's probably talking about the ALU. He said he just sold oh, this for six fifty Canadian. Yeah. Oh, okay. But that's Canadian price, so I don't know what the exchange rate is. Still too much, but comes with the TV and stand. Just a little too much. So it's worth three grand. Power putt <laughs> SSB and GT. Let's see. Power putt and golden tee installed. I got a power putt, Rexer. That's what he said. Um, so I guess I guess it's worth a little bit less, according to Rexer. So too much, two thousand maybe. You see Rexer now, look says. here's someone that thinks they have gold. This is just a multi cade with a sixty and one in it. You saw that one, the Miss oh, Look on. how much that is. The you don't want me to go to the thing game board. The Oh, multi cade. Yeah, that's a no deal. That's a that's a dream there. That's a no deal. Um, but this Infinity Game Board <sighs> from Arcade One Up, two hundred sixty dollars. Don't these things like cost nine hundred dollars new or some stupid crap? Oh, dude, I can't. Retails it. for five hundred, asking three hundred, brand new. It's not brand new. You opened it. It's so far out of my wheelhouse. It's like, uh, don't you have to keep the cord connected to it and everything too? It's, I, I don't get it. I don't see who those are for. And then, like, they don't even like the games they have. Like, they're like a lot of like stuff like Monopoly and like. I don't know. Okay, the table is a thousand board. bucks. I don't get either one. Um, they want they lowered it to two sixty. Um, that might be okay if you want an Infinity Game Board. I guess I don't. Um, Lethal Enforcers, real arcade artwork is in fantastic shape. This is a project and currently has deer hunting PCB in it. My idea was to have a switcher in it and have two shooting games, but I can't get Lethal Enforcers mm. 2 board to work. The board is actually gunfighters, and at one point it did work, but now it doesn't. It will come with that PCB. Uh, this is too much of a story. This guy's this... trying to sell this thing, and he's got like a Bible's worth of story uh, about what he's it got, is. He's got, he's got, a, he's been through it. He's been through the ringer with this lethal enforcers. Yeah, now he's, he's just done, ready to give up. He's given up steps. He's like, I've had enough. I've been enforced enough. Uh, th this, this, this whole thing right here makes me be like two hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Once uh, again, throw you know, go to go to a barcade and play it. To me, for the stuff, it's just. I that one we already talked about. No deal on that. This looks like the same guy again. Big arcade sale, two ninety nine. He he has stuff for three fifty. He has stuff for two ninety nine. He's got stuff He's all over the, the map. And, and there's so many different times that he has an ad here. Is that a, is that a, what is that the games pinball? What what the four hundred? Go back to where it says arcade. That looks like an ad games pinball. Well, hold on. Let's talk about this. I'll go back. For Galaga fortieth anniversary arcade one. <laughs> Four hundred, four hundred and thirty dollars. That's gonna be a no from me. No deal. Yeah, hard pass, hard pass, hard on pass. That one. All right. So where'd you go? Want me to go? I'll go back to that one. Click on that one. Two eighty. Two eighty. Oh no, no, that's that other. That's a other. Uh, at games. Legends thing. Ultimate Mini Arcade. Mini, yeah. It's the one player, right? Yeah. Well, it looks like he's got a gamer mini in there. Yeah, that's the way it comes. Oh, okay. Yeah, that one never really floated my boat. Two hundred and eighty bucks. That seems okay. Yeah. I would say we could make a deal on that. Uh, I'd offer a little. But bit you could rotate but... the screen on that one to two different ratio, two different um, aspect ratios, but. Custom arcade sign two hundred dollars. <sighs> I don't know if I'd pay two hundred dollars for that, but okay. Interesting. Uh, all right. This is a this is new in the box. Arcade one new up in the box. Death Adder, Revenge of Death Adder. I died. I could play that on my i arcade and it runs perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> or I could pay six hundred dollars to have the of this version made with particle board. Mm. I'm gonna say no. I I don't think that's worth six hundred dollars. No way. No. Yeah. Nope. No deal. They no didn't have idea. the best of luck with Sega. They they really have had a hard road with Sega with Arcade One Up. 
two three hundred dollars. Been a long time since they this released anything from Sega. This is that same dude's storage unit. I'm this guy, this you. guy, this guy wants those things gone. How many ads does he need? Hey, look at this guy. Go to the multi cave. Thousand bucks. Look at that. He put Donkey Kong 3 on there. At least I got some respect for uh, putting Donkey Kong 3 on there. It's vertical. It's a nice classic arcade. It's vertical. Yep. This is only going to run older games, though. Yeah. Yeah. Not worth it. A thousand bucks? Yeah, I'm not paying a thousand bucks for that. This? What the hell is this? 80s Reunion Mania. (laughs) That is a Franken cab there. $500. $500. 80s reunion. And it's got the like 2000 version of Paper Mario on it, even though it says 80s reunion mania. Yeah, I'm going to be like, nah. <laughs> this is an NBA Jam tournament edition. It's wrapped. It's a real machine. It has hang time marquee. What the? I need more details because I see a hang time marquee, a tournament edition deck. What game's in there and does it work? It, we don't have any pictures of it working. For now, it's a no. Definitely a hard no. Free. It looks like it's a rental. Revenue sharing. They uh, placed the machines in there. Yeah. $300 for an arcade one-up Asteroids. Hard no. No deal. Oh, no. no, that's one of the worst cabs they ever made. No deal. That had, that had the indexed spinner for Tempest where it clicks. That was pretty bad. What the hell? What is this? A projector cade? cade. The projector cade. (laughs) These things are actually real? There's a projector cade. I thought they made that shit up. (laughs) Hey, you can can do your your Pac-Man. You can watch a movie with a really bad projector. I'm way behind on comments. Steps, what if that Golden Axe had online play? No, I I would still pass on that 100%. I'm not paying $600 for for an arcade one-up. I've already done that in my lifetime, and I got burned. Uh, projector K, two hundred and fifty dollars. No. No, I'm not paying that. <laughs> wh- wh- who's the one that thought that was going to be a good idea? Who at the arcade one-up office was sitting there brainstorming ideas and they go, "I got this great cool. idea. Let's put a projector. We'll we'll, we'll do a projector K because there's tons of nostalgia for people to play <laughs> Pac-Man on a projector. Like, who's the one that had that idea? Do they toss in a Pac-Man stick? <laughs> they throw a bunch of stuff at the wall just to see the it NBA sticks. Has to be baby mamas. Oh my god! That didn't I can't... stick. That didn't stick to the wall. What is that this? That was a one and done. Marque... Arcade marquee magnets for six dollars. Those are actually cool. I like those these. Those are cool. Yeah, I love those. Yes, when I go to deal. Events, they always have places. They always have people selling those. Deal. Those are cool. This is a Data East my game arcade. station. My arcade, thirty dollars. That seems fair. Deal. I don't know anything about that. That's enough to say deal. 30 bucks. But deal. 30 bucks isn't much. What is this? Vibrating bumpers and flat retro arcade pinball tabletop game. $40. What year is this from? This looks like a, this looks like uh, it would be terrible to play. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm going to say uh, no. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Match them up. Match them up. Hey, Galaga guy. Good to see you. Galaga guy is going to be here next week. I know. I like Galaga guy. Um, Perfect dispenses tickets like it should. A little shout out for Galaga guy here. Yes. Keeping it real with the Galaga. I hear that game has flipper lag. (laughs) Got two ships. The market is flooded. (laughs) Too many gaming devices. The couch cane has a pillow unit. Uh, I don't know what the hell I would do with that in my house. Do you? Like a, I mean, Why I guess do if you I want that, I don't know. I don't want it. Hundred dollars for Birdie King oh, Three. That is an ugly cab. It's not have a monitor and it does it. It's not no. worth anything. I don't want it. Nope. That's a, that's a barn fire. <laughs> Basketball arcade it's game. It's good for the fire pit. <laughs> This is not really an arcade game. This is like one of those Walmart, like for yeah. home basketball <laughs> shots. Oh my God! This person's smoking crack. Six hundred bucks. Wow. 
<laughs> oh man! Wow. <laughs> oh damn! I don't hey, know. Man, steps. They know what they got. They know what they got. This. You don't understand. This is the arcade one up. <laughs> Big Buck World. They know what they got. It oh, comes with two guns. My God. Oh my God. A non lit up marquee. Beautiful 17 inch crisp DOE <laughs> monitor. You can stand like a foot away from it and shoot some deer. Dude, this is sweet. I, listen, back in the day, people would have paid $600 for that, but we've all learned our lesson and nobody, I don't think anybody's willing to pay $600 for that at this point. I think most people are, a lot of people I know, like they won't pay over 300. Yeah. Just they won't. I mean, no, there's no deal for me. No deal. That are still buying our cable up stuff. At this least. is a, a bourbon bucket or a bur barrel of bourbon that was turned into an arcade with a dull mm. monitor and it's a widescreen mm. monitor and they have it set up vertical fifteen hundred dollars for this yeah yeah i could do this myself way cheaper but yeah i mean i'm looking at maybe a hundred and fifty bucks if i could not find a monitor but like that monitors i could find a monitor like that for probably 89.99 yeah and then you got uh some arcade buttons and you need to find a barrel and a raspberry pi or something well they're running, um, they're running a 60 and one that's a 60 and one board okay once Even again, so. you get some games run good, some games it's kind of hit and miss. Plus, you don't have all the controls for all the games. You know, there'll be games on there that the controls aren't going to work good on. I'm not paying twelve hundred bucks. There's a yeah, no for it's me. A little high, a little high. Uh, Area fifty one, maximum force, coin operated, but works for free. Eight hundred dollars or trade for a pinball machine. Dude, you're not going to trade that for a pinball machine. Well, you could get like a 19. You could, you could find an old pinball machine that's not as popular. Maybe a Legends HD or something. You know, I don't know. Even an old pinball. Um, people would trade an old pinball for that. The price is probably, I would say, close if it's in mm -hmm. good shape. I mean, like an electric I, mechanical pinball. What would you pay for Maybe. that cabinet? I, I mean, I don't know. I'm just taking a guess, a shot in the dark. Mm -hmm. But I think it's probably 700 bucks yeah yeah 500 to 700 yeah probably 320 is this the same dude? The same guy same guy that's the pac mania again uh well, he wants those gone he's heavily he's heavily spamming deer hunting game uh, what is it's not is a big that oh, it looks top like hunter. it's a uh, buck top hunter hunt. or top hunter putting in some other kind of cab it was deer hunting i was deer hunting usa huh. no sound Wants three hundred bucks. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be a particular buyer. I don't want it, but I, I guess maybe. Yeah, that is way too much for an asteroids. Sixteen hundred dollars. Action hero. With a with two guns, thousand uh, dollars works. Haven't tried the coin mechanism. It's been on free play since I got it. That means the coin mechanism probably doesn't work. There's no the hard drive has an SSD instead. No maintenance required. Performed personally. This person seems like they know what they're doing. Yeah. Um, it's probably mm. close to worth it. Otherwise, I, I just because I, I could tell. But, like, I, I, I don't know much about that game. $600 for a real Asteroids, and you say it's not worth it? Oh, it's a ripoff, yeah. yeah. $50. I saw, I saw one you could have rolled home with if you had a truck at the Southern Fried Gaming. 700 bucks it was beautiful no it's deal all no deal it's all restored no deal <laughs> arcade gaming machine i, I played it a looks few, like a microwave all weekend it was fun a, it takes a bill what the hell mega oh this is a mega touch no 50 dollars. i still don't mega want touch, it, 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 does, no. it comes, they could have wiped the spider webs off it like for the picture they could have just like took a cloth and wiped the spider webs off 175 for a pac-man counter cater whatever that Oof. is no no deal thousand dollars for a donkey kong arcade game this is priced pretty accurate i think now granted it, it looks like it needs some paint work hate to see it go but it hasn't been used in ages it turns on but fades out with fuzz you can see in the pictures monitor issues oh there's issues never mind i don't want it 
Not for a thousand bucks. Nope. It needs but, to you know, some for... of that those arcades, you, can... you know, maybe you could put a cap kit in that. Like the people that are really into it that know how to fix them. That might not be that hard of a fix. I don't know enough about it's, it. It's but... it's worth a thousand dollars in good shape and in working. Good shape, yeah. I would and think, working. But... And it, it maybe even t- as much as twelve hundred, but that's pushing it. Those monitors require I, I, frequent I've work. Looked, I've looked. I've looked. I've looked at Donkey Kongs before. Yeah. Um. This okay. is two thousand dollars for a Pac-Man arcade sixty game. Way too games. much for a Yeah, we're gonna say Doesn't no. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter what it has. This Pac-Man arcade game. This is what is this? Two hundred ninety-five dollars. They're smoking. What is this? It's, it's, a it's a countercade. Countercade. And they want three hundred dollars. No deal. No deal. Five hundred and fifty for a Simpsons. Never opened. I'm gonna say no deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. No deal. Rexer could fix it. Yeah, he probably could. The comparison of most expensive retailers, Home Depot, remind me when I see some let ups at Wayfair. Yeah, yeah. Um, what is the three? This is the same guy, probably. Same what is guy. this? Vintage Bandai Electronic Gunfighter game. That's crazy. That looks interesting. It's in the box and it's 130 bucks. That's probably a deal, honestly. I don't want it, but like, I, I if somebody like has nostalgia for that with the box and everything, yeah, that's probably a deal. Twenty dollars for retro arcade games with working batteries. What is this junk? That's one of them, like... Oh no, no, oh, wow. no, no, wow. no, no, no! I don't want that. <laughs> Another one of those basketball hoops, <sighs> air hockey table. What pinball is that? Scroll down. Pinball Football machines, eighty five hundred dollars for a Data East Simpsons. Is that a pinball party? Yeah, yeah it pinball is. Pinball party. That is a cool pinball. That, that's. It looks very worn. Yeah. I. Simpsons Data East used so okay pinball party is eighty five hundred, the Simpsons Data East is thirty eight hundred. So there are two different Simpsons tables. Yeah, this guy's into it. This guy must love the Simpsons. He likes the Simpsons. Must be a huge fan. Um, Simpsons pinball. The pinball party is the one I always remember. Yeah, I want to know if the prices are good or not on that. But I I think that he's probably a little high. But that's just what I think. I'm just guessing. Okay, they want $400 for a Mortal Kombat Arcade 1-Up. It looks like it's the Deluxe with no riser. And platform says 3DO. I don't. I know that's not true. Uh, I think I no deal for me. I think that that, that version should probably be listed at... Uh, well, maybe maybe listed at 350 sell for 300 What do you think? Uh, not interested. I mean, I, w- I wouldn't want it, honestly. Not even for a dollar. Yeah, but if somebody did want it. It, Does that one have the online where you could play? It does now. They just upgraded that, didn't they? They got the spectator. Is there like a a budget one that doesn't do the online? Or they all have the online? No, they think they all did after a certain date. Okay. the, The original one does not. I think after that it did. Okay. Um... Hyperdrive by Midway. They want eight seventy five for it. This is going to be take a special. I see Nick's is comments massive. says Nick says never buy a pinball. The maintenance and upkeep it's a it's a money pit. True. Agree and disagree because there's nothing like playing a real pinball machine though. Like when you play a real pinball, it's it's a totally unique experience. Even virtual pinball, as much as I like it, it's not the same as playing real pinball. So it's kind of an apple and orange, but. They are, they are, they do require maintenance. You know, one thing, if you're, if you're buying a pinball machine, you're going to learn how to fix pinball or you're going to be very unhappy. We're going to be gracious to Glenn and we're going to uh, talk about the hyperdrive here and then move on. But hyperdrive, um, I think I remember this arcade. It's much like the, what, Hydro Thunder? Was that oh, I the love Hydro game? Thunder. Yeah, that's a fun game. Yeah, um... Look at that seat. 
this is gonna take a really special buyer because somebody's gonna have to really want this. It looks like it's up kept well. It's nice. Yeah. Um, it's under a thousand dollars. I bet space. you you could probably find one for five hundred just because of the size, though. Yeah. I I I I lean towards no deal. What do you lean towards? I would say I would say you could probably get them lower. A lot get them lower. lower. Five hundred bucks, maybe six hundred, seven hundred. Those go really cheap on that. You know, I, don't, I watch that captain's auction. And it seems like those go really cheap. I think because they're so big, you know, take up yeah. a lot of space. You know. Awesome. Well, we're gonna end the stream. We got no deal, no Ooh, deal, no deals. Appreciate you all. I'm gonna be back next week with the uh, Galaga guy on uh, arcade one up or arcade home arcade deal or no deal, whatever you want to call it here. And uh, I want to thank Papa Brad for being here tonight. Absolutely, anytime, anytime. Just and we look forward to continuing the, the streams. And until anytime next time. Need. No deal! <laughs> Stay legit. Thanks for watching.